Hey y'all. All right. So today we're going to learn how to connect lettering to create a word or name. Uh, when, you, when you want it to all connect together. So whenever you cut it out on your silhouette or your cutting machine, it does not cut your letters off in between each letter or your, you know, cut your word off in between each letter. So let's start over here. Here is your text. You're going to click on text. And let's just type in Christmas. Okay, I'm going to push enter. For me, I like to push enter. It's easier to highlight it. And I'm going to go up here at the top. I'm going to make it bigger. It's a little bit easier to see and work with. And up here is your list of fonts. You can go down and choose a font you like. That one's great. Um, or you can go over here to the right where it opens it up and then you can click on different ones and it doesn't close your font list out like the top list did. So let's just choose. We can choose, how about, that one's cute. We can go back up here. There's so many fun ones, it's just endless. I was going to get one that connects. So let's just do, oh, that one's fun. That one's fun too. Okay, let's just connect this one. That'll work. Okay, so when you finally choose the font that you want, you can right-click, ungroup. It's going to take you out, and, and it's going to keep them selected, and I can just take this top box and drag it to make it bigger. And if you zoom in, you can see it better. But do you see how these are not connected right here? So we want to go in, if you move them over and where they can all kind of line up together. Uh, right, there we go, right there. Oops, over here, let's go to undo. If you need to push undo, it's right there takes you right back to where you need it to be I'm just gonna move things over where I do want them to connect okay and then I'm gonna highlight everything I'm gonna go over here to the right the transform panel and I'm just going to click to where they all line up on the bottom now you can see the S's here don't quite there you go move them down there you go and then if I highlight this I can move it over to where it just looks a little bit better and closer together. All right, so highlight it, right click, weld it. That's going to weld everything together that is touching. And you can see that anything that's not touching, it's going to select it separately. So if you click out of everything and you zoom in, you can see some things, yes, they connected, but they're not really smooth. So if you go to cut this out on your silhouette with vinyl, um, you, you want it to look a little smoother. So if you click on this, you right click, and you go to edit points, it's going to show you here all of your tiny little nodes that you can choose. Um, sometimes I like to select simplify right here. This point editing will open up. This box will whenever you go to edit. Uh, and it will simplify it for you, which will smooth a lot of it out and make it look better. You can click on them and move them around, but right like like that, if I want to delete a point, um, you can move things around however you want, but it looks a lot better than it did. So right here, same on this. If you right click edit points, if you go to simplify, it's going to help out and smooth a lot of it out where it makes it easier for you if you do want to delete or change any other areas of the connecting points. So like right here, I'm just going to kind of turn it a little bit like this. You just take those little blue squares and you can move them around and there you have it. So everything is connected and if you want to select everything with your mouse, right click and group it, then you have your word. So if you want to zoom out a little bit, go over here, 
right over here on the right side, your transform panel again. And if you want to see how it looks, oops, excuse me, let me go back up. Okay, it's all grouped. So if you ungroup it, then you can actually um, go over here. But if I, if I were to choose that, then it's going to bring this down and the T will run into the S. So we're not gonna do that on this one. We're gonna highlight it and then group it again. And if you wanna change the color, over here on the right, you can change the color, the fill color. The fill color is the inside. You still have an outer outline right there, which is black right now. Um, we can take that off. But that is how you weld together your lettering to where everything is connected. Anything touching is connected. Hope that helps. Like and subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos soon. Thanks, y'all.